damn it, god damn it, god damn it. What's up? It's Outlet Podcast, man. Different days, same shit. AKA Platinum with no features. AKA King Kong ain't got shit on me. I gotta stop yelling at the camera. Um, dick discipline, god damn it. Dick fucking discipline. Man. <laughs> now, let me tell you personally, I was not born with dick discipline. Most niggas that have a dick don't know how to control the motherfucker. To, like, you older you get, the better you get with it. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I remember my dad when I was 16, and me and my dad. You know what I'm saying? Was I used to play video games with my homeboys in the room. And any nigga that know me have came to my house, has played Xbox, has played GameCube, has played PlayStation with me, knows that my dad has this one phrase. He used to tell me all the time, go outside and get some motherfucking pussy. And that's what I did. And boy, did I fuck it up. Like, I ain't, like, make a bunch of kids or anything, you know what I'm saying? I came close a couple times, you know what I'm saying? But I got, you know, one biological kid and I stepped dad to the other one, so I kind of came out the fire a little good, you know what I'm saying? It could have been a lot worse, because it could have been a lot worse. Now, dick discipline, goddammit. It's a lot of you niggas out here with a whole fuck ton of baby mamas. And for what? Because you have no dick discipline. I have female friends. And when I say female friends, I have female friends. Some girls I fuck, some girls I don't. All right. But like I said, I get a lot of my material from them. (laughs) And boy, let me tell you, each one of them has told me the same shit. Well, Ronald, it's like fighting tooth and nail to get a nigga to put a condom on. I don't know why niggas just want to go raw all the time and they want to do this and they don't want to wear no condom and they just want to do bug out. And I'm like, damn. So niggas really don't give a fuck about their future. Nigga, AIDS is a real thing. Herpes is a real thing. Chlamydia is a real thing. HPV is a real thing. Gonorrhea is a real thing. And I'm sure I'm leaving some of them out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, y'all cats, between the pregnancies and the STDs and the type of women y'all choose, like, you know what's crazy? God put the best p- pussy on the craziest bitches. And that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? If old girl walk around, she snapping and throwing drinks on motherfuckers and always, you know, fighting and shit, chances are she might got some good stuff going on. But again, the point of you having dick discipline is to see that this girl, who has a banging ass body, by the way, cute, attractive, you know what I'm saying? Got a couple tats, might not have a couple tats, might be light skin. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? Could possibly fuck your life up if you stick your dick in this motherfucker rock. And that's the thing. I'm not telling you not fuck her. I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? But you niggas gonna do what the fuck you wanna do. That's just something I've learned in the long run. You niggas gonna do what the fuck you wanna do. You know what I'm saying? And all I am saying is to think, you know, fuck once, think twice. All right? Yeah, that's good. Fuck once, think twice. You know what I'm saying? You might look at a girl, like, man, she's cute, but. You, you niggas got to start analyzing the type of women you fucking. Y'all got to start putting some rubber to the road on some of this shit. Like, if her credit fucked up, she got about four kids. You know what I'm saying? She living in a crazy ass situation. She always going through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that every girl with kids is on some bad shit. You know what I'm saying? But just understand and look at it for what it is instead of what you want it to be. Because a lot of you motherfuckers, y'all don't care about nothing Y'all don't even give a fuck about your life outside of the pussy. You're just like, I just want to get some pussy. I want to fuck. I don't want to wear no condom. It don't even matter. And next thing you know, you baby daddy number five. And you got baby mama number six. So it's like, why even go through it? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a way for y'all to do y'all thing out here and not get caught the fuck up or fuck your money the fuck up or blow all your... Like, y'all don't got to do all this crazy shit all the goddamn time. You know what I'm saying? Stop. Think. Look at this situation. Hmm. This bitch crazy. She like to fight niggas. She beat people up on a regular. She can't handle her alcohol. You know what I'm saying? She might be the type of girl that is real iffy about dealing with dudes. A lot of these girls are on that me too shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to really analyze the type of chicks you are talking to and dealing with. That's not some shit you want on you, dude. Pay attention. Look. Hmm, she might not have no house or no car. Maybe that ain't the girl I want to get pregnant. Hmm, she might not have her shit together. That ain't the girl I want to get pregnant. I heard she fuck a lot of niggas. You know what I'm saying? 
which I'm born with body count ain't really a big deal like that. But at the same time, all I'm saying is just to pay attention. If she's, you know, saying if you keep hearing about her from other niggas and shit, I'm not telling you not to fuck her. Again, I'm not telling you not to fuck her because I know how a chick says. Because one, just because I say a body count, don't mean that it's that. But I'm just telling you, pay attention. See if the shit she does matches up with the shit that people say about her. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention. Just listen. Tiptoe with some of these women. Because here's the thing. I'm about to be 30. And I'm trying to be fucking when I'm 40. I'm trying to be fucking when I'm 50. And I'm going to be fucking when I'm 60 if Viagra's still a thing. All right? So I'm trying to be in the game for a while. So there's no need to, oh, my gosh, you got a fat ass. Let me go smash. You don't know shit about this bitch, nigga. She might have killed four people. She might be a child killer. She might have smothered a baby. You don't know nothing about this motherfucker, but you all you see is a fat ass, pretty face, some perky titties. Man, it's game time, nigga. It's grass on the field, play ball, goddammit. That's all you niggas think about. Like, listen, I like pussy, but pussy to me is just the minimum of how like that's just the that's the foundation of what we start. You know what I'm saying? That's why you listen, you gotta look at a chick kind of like this, right? Okay, she's attractive to you. Alright, cool. What else does she bring to the table for you? Does she think? She got a brain on her shoulders? Is she smart? You know what I'm saying? What can she really offer you? You know what I'm saying? Stop thinking of everything as just a smash and start. You got like you gotta look at women like this. I don't have hoes, I have secretaries. And I know the girls that might hear this might be like, what the fuck? No. Because it's the way I, I try to position women around me that's gonna help me with what I got going on. A lot of you niggas just out here raw ridiculous, raw nagging. You know what I'm saying? Raw dogging. Listen, the only thing I'm giving to a chick raw is my personality. <laughs> Nigga, please, you you a damn fool. You think Ronell Williams out here fucking without no condom. I like my money. Ain't nobody finna... Man, y'all niggas ain't gonna learn until y'all... These child support papers gonna tell y'all like the ass. You know what I'm saying? But you have to look at your women that you're dealing with like secretaries. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be like, okay, well, what can she bring to the table? What? How can she add value to my life? All you niggas is thinking about is just sex, man. I understand. I like pussy just as much as the next nigga. You know what I'm saying? But you got to put a little bit of rubber to the road here, man. Trona Williams, the Outlet Podcast, man. Learn something from your uncle. Learn something from your big brother. Learn something from your friend, all right? I'm here for y'all niggas, man. I'm here for y'all. I could have just kept this shit to myself. All this knowledge and ism and Bible, like Bible scriptures I'm giving y'all motherfuckers on how to fuck with females and shit. But no, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So... Like, share, and subscribe. Don't get nobody pregnant. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up.